In this lesson, we will go through the steps to create the student team database and take a look at the create table SQL statement and the insert into SQL statement. You need to be able to log into an account through the Microsoft Enterprise Consortium. You get that account from your instructor. So you will log in, and if you haven't already done so, you need to follow the steps shown here and create the student team database and populate it with data. The scripts, the commands for doing this are provided. You can get those from your instructor. So you will need to log in. So having logged in or connected to the MEC server, you will open up the Server Management Studio. And you'll select Databases and expand that and move down to your account. So don't try to connect to the example shown here, but find your particular account. So when I look at this account, I have no tables other than a systems tables folder. So I need to open up a new query pane for SQL, and I can do that by clicking new query and it opens up a pane to the right, or I can, if I have the files on the MEC server, I can just use the open to open a file and that will also open an SQL pane. I'll be using a notepad file and copy pasting commands, so I will use the new query to open up a pane for SQL. Then I will open the notepad files as I need them. So I'm going to open up the create table script and it's in a file that has several comments that you should take time to read. It explains a little bit about the database and what the tables serve in the database, what purpose they have, and it explains some of the features of some of the commands, the SQL commands. So I'm going to select all of these by doing a control A for all, a control C for copy, then I move over to the MEC and I will do a control V to paste in the commands. So once you get it in this window you'll see that comments are in green. Comments are enclosed with a forward slash asterisk and they're ended by using an asterisk forward slash. You'll also see color coding that helps you distinguish reserved SQL words and the values or names of objects that we type in. So in this example we have create table teams, that's the name of the table. There will be three columns. Each one is a variable character which allows uh, letters and numbers. Two of them are required, one of them is not required and they have different lengths. We have defined a constraint for the primary key, setting team ID as the primary key and we've set it we've set a constraint for uniqueness so the team name also must be unique for each row or each team in the table. We can execute all of these commands, the com comments will be ignored and all we have to do is click execute and it says commands completed successfully. If I right click on tables and do a refresh I will see that those tables now exist. So again, be sure that you look at this file and look at the commands. You'll use those when you do an assignment to create tables. And this provides examples that you can use in that assignment. We'll, you'll define columns within a table. You'll define a primary key for every table. And you may define a foreign key if that table is on the many side of a one-to-many relationship. The data model does dictate the sequence in which tables should be created in the database. So this is the data model for the student teams. And teams should be built before students because student is on the mini side, which means it gets a foreign key from the teams table. Evaluations should be created after you've created students because it also has foreign keys from the, being on the many side of a one-to-many -many relationship with students. Eval items, evaluations need to exist before you create eval item scores. So the create table statements are in the correct order and you simply execute them as we did just a few minutes ago. 
Now we're going to take a look at the insert into statement which puts data row by row into tables. So I'm going to open up that in Notepad. Again there's a few comments as well as several examples of insert into statements. I'm going to select that with a control A and a control C. Then I move over to my uh, management studio. I'll open a new query pane and I'll do a control V to paste those in. So look through these examples for ways to add data to a table. You're doing an insert into, you name the table, you list the columns in the order in which you're going to add the data, not necessarily the order in which they were built into the table. So we have three column names separated by commas and then we follow that with the values clause and in parentheses we actually list the data that's going to go into that row in that table. So I'm going to click execute and I don't see any error messages so that means that the data has gone into the tables. So in the insert into you specify the team name you spe or I'm sorry the table name and then you specify the columns you're going to populate and then you add after the values uh, command the actual data values to be inserted. So now you have your date your student team database. Uh, if for some reason you've encountered problems or if you just want to go back through the steps again you can drop these tables. A script for doing that has been provided. You can also have uh, the Management Studio generate those commands for you. You can right click on a table, select script tables as and drop to and have it add that command to a new query window. So you can actually get the Management Studio to generate the code for you but the script for dropping all those tables has also been provided. So having looked at that script tables as drop to you can see that there are some tools that allow you to create tables and populate them and even drop them without actually writing the SQL yourself. But the purpose of these lessons is to learn the SQL commands. So we won't use these tools generally, uh, at least not at this point. We'll take a look at some of them as we get further into some of our lessons. So in this lesson you created the student team's database in your MEC account. You use the create table which is an SQL command that's part of the DDL set, the data definition language. And you use the insert into which is a command, SQL command in the DML or data manipulation language portion of SQL.